from October Gallery in Philadelphia, this is ATN, Art TV Network. There's a market for niggas that target figures that purchase $100,000 jewelry. And $200,000 automobiles don't fool me, I know pain when I see it. And he would probably give it all away if he hadn't signed his life away just to realize that a million dollars was a small price for him to pay for his dignity. And I suppose if I earned $100,000 a show that had already been spent on security, entourage, groupies, and blow, it wouldn't be so sweet. And I hope Dave Perez and Talib Kweli realize that it's not that black people don't like positivity, it's something that we often don't have the disposable income to purchase tons of CDs. But little rich white kids buy CDs 10 at a time. And the more ignorant the nigga, the more they get to piss off their mom. So if the soul calls his mother or sister a bitch, or since he's willing to kill his brother in order to get rich, it just makes it even better. The bigger the monkey, the bigger the money. Just throw cash at her, watch her take off her dress. Just throw cash at her, watch him expose his chest. Some way, y'all, right now there's a prostitute sniffing and blow in order to take her mind off how she earns her living. Some way, y'all, right now, there's a rapper snipping blow in order to take his mind off how he earns his living, but, but there's a market for niggas. And, and spoken word is the shit, but poems don't buy big homes, and poems don't light up wrists, and it might be nice to make all y'all jealous of my bank account, but what's more important is that my mother's respect is priceless. And it, it used to be back in the day, you could cover your face with black face and red lipstick, and black people would hate you, but you surely get rich. Just take a picture, poking out your lips, eating watermelon, but guarantee your show is selling. But nowadays, if you're effectively rapping about gun clapping other black men, say no more, nigga. You platinum. With half a dozen racist billionaires willing to back them. Y'all tell me how that's any different than back then. The more he shows his drawers, the more he gets applause. And if he's willing to play the role of society savage, then society will make him a star, because there's a market for niggas. Just write some bullshit. There's money to be made in convincing black people that Jill Scott does not exist. Because if a young girl knows she's golden, she won't allow herself to be called no bitch. And it's only common sense that if you take away her self-confidence, she'll believe that dropping it like it's hot for a soldier is an accomplishment. And if it'll increase young man's chances of going to jail, they'll promote it. I guarantee everybody right now in the, in the Dudley Center that you'll make a million dollars if your poem sounds like Willie Lynch wrote it. Just focus on being a stereotype. Like you wake up every morning just dying to bite. Just snapping pictures of stacking riches and clapping triggers and smacking pictures. You want to get this started? Fuck your pride, nigga. Just act retarded. You think I'm playing? As long as white folk got money, there's a market for niggas.